Hey guys, today we'll be making an adorable layered Valentine's Day hair bow. What you will need, I have the Padabra bow maker, and then I have ribbon. I chose white ribbon, that's 1 and 3 eighths inches in width, red glitter, which is 1 inch in width, and printed ribbon, which is 5 eighths inches in width. 4 inch piece of the printed and the red ribbon. Bow wire and a hair clip. You will also need scissors and a hot glue gun. The white ribbon is 16 inches long, the red glitter ribbon 14 inches, and the printed ribbon 12 inches. You can adjust the length of the ribbon just depending on how large or small you would like for your hair bow to be. Alright, let's get started. So first thing I'm going to do is take my bow wire, fold it in half, and place it down in the center of my bodabra. And the amount of bow wire you use is completely up to you. Then I'm going to take my thickest ribbon, which is my white piece, fold it in half to find the center. And you can use a lighter to finish off any frayed edges you may have but I'm going to ribbon cut the end fold it in half with the openings at the bottom the fold at the top and cut at a diagonal now if you would like to keep your end squared off you can definitely do so but this is how cute it looks I'm going to open my ribbon and scrunch it fold it in half bring the front and the back up and place it down then I'm going to take one side and I'm going to kind of estimate the center and scrunch again, then place it down. And we're going to repeat this step with the other side. And I actually want to have one tail going up and one tail going down, just like that. Use my wand to scrunch everything together. And you can adjust it while you have the wand in place. It looks so cute and precious already. And then I'm going to repeat the same steps with the red glitter piece. Alright, so I'm just using my wand again to scrunch and maneuver while I have the wand in place. And if you notice, I placed the loop on top of a tail and then a tail on top of the loop. I just think this looks so cute and precious, but if you want to place a tail on a tail and a loop on a loop, you can definitely do that. Alright, now I'm going to add my final piece, repeating the same step one more time, and I'm going to alternate the loop and the tail one more time. Alright, so this is what it's looking like. So cute and sweet. Now you're going to take your bow wire, place the two open ends inside of the loop, and you're going to hold your bow in place and give it a nice tug. And then remove it from the bodabra. Alright, you can maneuver your bow one final time, and then you are going to tie your bow wire in a knot a couple of times. And when you're all done, just cut away the excess bow wire. Now you're going to take your four inch long printed piece and tie it in a knot. And I like to try and keep the printed side facing up. I don't really want the wrong side visible. And this will serve as the center of my bow. So I'm going to just take the ribbon all the way around to the back of the bow and hot glue it in place. And now it's time to add the last piece of 4 inch ribbon to our hair clip. So once that's all done, you're just going to hot glue it to the back of your bow. And you are all done. Simple, sweet, and easy to do. 